Parameter queries. Whenever you want a query to ask for input each time you run the query, you create what's called a parameter query in Access 2013. Don't worry if that doesn't make a bit of sense right now. We'll teach you exactly what a parameter query is and how you can create them. As you already know, you use criteria to narrow down the results you receive in a query. Criteria eliminates the expression looking for a needle in a haystack. Let's say when running a query, you want to know, using our book collection database as an example, how many books you've recently added to your collection because you share this information with friends who might want to read them. So, you want the query to show all the new books you've added since you last ran the query and sent out the list to your friends. To do this, you add criteria to a date added field. This shows you the date you purchased the book. The criteria tells Access that you want all books added after a certain date, which is the date that you last ran the query. However, wouldn't it be a lot easier if Access prompted you to enter a date? The good news is that you can do this using a parameter query. The first thing you do is select the query for which you want to add a parameter to. We're going to use a query that contains the title of the book and the date it was purchased. You'll need to add a date purchase field to the books table and enter some data. To do this, open the books table. And then click on design view. Add a new field called date purchased. Change a data type to a date time and enter a description. Once you've finished, click on the View Data Sheet button. Click on Yes to save the table. Now we need to enter some data in the Date Purchased field. As you can see, we have dates now entered in this field. Now we can save the table. Now we can create a new query based on this by going to Create, then going to the Query Wizard. We'll need to create a simple query with just the title and the date purchased. Click Next. Name your query and click Finish. Now go to the Design view. We can now add criteria in brackets. The brackets indicate that the access should look for a field or ask the customer to fill in a field if there isn't one. We're going to enter between start date and end date to see all the books purchased within a specified time frame. We then enter that in the date purchased field. First, let's make the column a little wider. Now enter between start date and end date. You can see how I put square brackets around the start date and end date words. This means that we'll either look in the table for those fields or prompt us to enter the data. Now go back to the datasheet view to run the query. Access now prompts you for values for your parameter in the dialog box as shown below. Enter a start date for the query. Click OK. Now enter an end date. and click OK. Access now shows us the results of our query. Now when you enter parameters for your query, the prompts appear the way they do in the design view, from left to right. You can see the prompt from the first parameter that you entered, and so on. What if you want to change the order in which they appear? To do this, go to the design view of any query, and then click on the design tab. Now click parameters in the show hide group. This form will now appear, which you can put your parameters in and the data type. You can also change the order that you want them to appear. If you want to add variability into your parameter query, you can use wildcards. An example is if you want to find a query to match a text string in any part of a field. Just as in the, just as in the last lesson, you can do this for using like with the wildcard characters. To do this, open a query and then go to Design View. Let's remove this criteria first. Go to the field where you want to apply a parameter. You type in the word like, and then star, and then an ampersand, and then the value that you want to prompt for, and an ampersand, and then a star again. So if you wanted to search for titles in the query, you'd enter this value here. Like, and then quotes around an asterisk field to denote the wildcard. 
then an ampersand to join the two pieces of text together, and then a square bracket title to search for. Then we close the square bracket. And then an ampersand, and then same as we did before, quote marks around an asterisk. What this means is it'll prompt you for the title to search for as we put it inside square brackets, and then the query will return anything that matches this. With an asterisk either side, it means it will search for anything that has that particular field with that value inside it. Click on the data sheet view to run the query. Access will then prompt you, but without the brackets, the word like or the wildcard characters. Access will now match values contained in this parameter string. Enter a value, such as Belmont, and then click OK. Any records that contain this sequence of characters within the title field will be displayed. If you wanted to find beginning or end values, omit the quotation marks, wildcard character, and then the ampersand column. It comes before the opening bracket to find the beginning value. Or omit the same things that follow the brackets to match the ending in the field value.